This month, state lawmakers on the Joint Transportation Committee continue their 12-stop tour around the state of Oregon, hearing what voters and taxpayers have to say about roads and transportation issues. At least, that's how the tour is being advertised. The bigger picture is they want to make sure the voters know that Oregon's Department of Transportation is hundreds of millions of dollars in the hole and, a drum roll please, to ask them how they'd like to pay to fill that hole. Now, during one of those tour stops here in the metro area, we heard a claim during a public comment portion of the meeting that did raise our eyebrows. Check it out. One two-axle TriMet bus does as much damage to the roads as 1,200 cars. Add the weight of batteries and electric buses will do even more damage. Okay, what? One bus doing as much damage as 1,200 cars? Seriously? We wanted to verify if that's actually accurate. Our sources are the EPA, the Department of Transportation, the Department of Energy, TriMet, the Portland Bureau of Transportation, and the Pavement Interactive Project. And it turns out, yep, it is absolutely accurate. You can say that. Now, it depends on things like road conditions and how many people are on the bus, so the ratio may not be exactly 1,200 to 1, but it is in the ballpark for sure. Now, if anything, it could be an understatement. When we asked for an estimate, the Portland Bureau of Transportation, a spokesperson there, told us a fully loaded bus can cause as much pavement damage as 10,000 personal cars. Okay, but why? Let's dig into this. We're going to start with math. The average unloaded weight of a new vehicle sold in the United States is about 4,300 pounds. And the unloaded weight of a 40-foot diesel bus is about 28,600 pounds. That means a bus only weighs about seven times more than an average car. Other comparisons have similar ratios. A bus has about eight times as many seats as a sedan, and it burns about six times more fuel to go the same distance. Based on that, you might assume a bus does about seven times as much pavement damage. I have to admit, that's kind of what we thought here. But turns out when it comes to road damage, the formula is completely, completely different. Check this out. Now we're getting into the advanced math. The rule of thumb often cited online is the fourth power law. Now that says that as the weight of a vehicle increases, the corresponding increase in road damage is equal to the increase in the vehicle's weight per axle to the power of four. So if a vehicle's weight doubles, it's not two times the damage, it's two times the damage to the power of four, as in two times, two times, two times, two. So 16 times the damage. Did you follow me there? You're clearly not an English major like I am. Three times the weight, well, that's 81 times the damage. Four times the weight, that's 256 times the damage, and so on. Now, the fourth power law isn't really a law. It's more of a shortcut for making rough estimates. The real formula was developed by the U.S. highway officials and is way more complicated, so we're not even going to get into that. But it is accurate enough to show that, yes, a single bus probably does do at least as much damage as 1,200 cars. Kind of something to think about next time you hear someone saying we should have less cars and more buses. And yes, 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 I know my environmental friends, that just hit every hot button you have. And you might be shouting at your screen, we're ignoring the impact of air pollution and greenhouse gases. Yeah, okay, I hear you. But it does kind of make you think, doesn't it?